Fix Nation, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video. Guys, I'm gonna share with you really quickly here um, our midweek analysis uh, that we do every week for our FXM Plus members. So hopefully you guys can see what we're looking at uh, for the next couple of days, or at least what I'm uh, hoping to see in the next couple of days. Hopefully, you can get some value from this particular video, guys. Enjoy the video. Enjoy the analysis. If you like this type of content, guys, please give the video a like, share the content, and subscribe to the channel, and uh, enjoy the analysis. FXM Mentoring, what's up, guys? Welcome to the uh, midweek update. Uh, let's jump right into it, guys. Uh, so, AUD, NZD, um, what I'm looking at this pair here is I'm looking to see basically whether or not this right here was the peak formation low. Uh, because, you know, it just basically spiked here with news and then just went right back up and started consolidating again like it's been doing for quite some time. Ideally, we would like this to actually move down and get give us something like this some kind of price action like this to confirm uh, essentially that we've you know gotten to three times ADR and then we can go ahead and start to look for peak formation low. Uh, so for right now, what I'm looking for this pair is I'm looking for more cells to help confirm that, okay? So for right now, it's I'm looking for, I would be looking for cells on this pair. Um, AUD USD uh, would be looking for cells because I'm waiting for, I'm looking for more of a full cycle here, uh, right back into this area of structure uh, where the reset is. So AUD USD looking for more cells. Um, AUD Swiss, we were con basically just consolidating here. Honestly, what I'm looking for on this one is I'm looking for price action to break this structure here. So essentially, 0 0.65900. If we can break below that, then we'll have pretty much a clear view uh, to go down and get a, a full cycle, which is what we want out of this. Uh, so right now I'm looking for sells on this, but I'm looking specifically for price action to break the 0 0.65900 range. Because once we could do that, then of course we'll go ahead and complete the cycle. All right. Uh, AUD and JPY, we're coming off a of peak formation low. We had a nice pullback here, um, so we should still be looking for more sell options on AUD JPY. Um, the pullback actually would have been a pretty nice swing trade here because if we fib it, you could see that we literally went right up to the 618. Uh, so it would have been a really good uh, entry there for a swing trade. Uh, but right now, we're looking for more cells on AUD JPY. AUD CAD, we're looking again for more cells to basically finish off uh, the, the cycle, the current cycle that it's on right now. Um, so that's what we're looking for. And right now, I believe if we can get down at least down to this area here, I believe this is probably like 2.5 times ADR. Uh, so you may have maybe one or two more opportunities to look for cell setups um, on AUD CAD. NZD Swiss, uh, as you can see, we're coming off of peak formation high off of a failed reset. Um, so I would be looking for uh, continued cell options. Um, this area obviously is going to be important for, for it to break because as you can see, We've been consolidating in this area here, uh, make it 0 0.59600. We haven't broken this area since July 13th, okay? Uh, so very important for us to complete this cycle, we need to break past below that point. So 0 0.59600 on NZD Swiss uh, for us to complete the cycle. So as long as we could break through that, then you should get at least one or two more sell uh, options the next couple of days. Okay, if we can't break through that, essentially we're going to fall back into just moving sideways and who knows from there. NZD CAD, um, we're looking for more cells. Obviously, we're coming off of a peak formation high, so we still got quite a ways uh, to go to get a full cycle. So, very simply, just looking for cells on NZD CAD. 
NZ DJPY, same thing. We're coming off a peak formation high. Uh, so we should be looking for more sell options. We got plenty of room um, to go on this one. And same thing as AUDJPY, where we got a really good setup for a swing trade, actually, because the pullback here got us to right 618 or, or the 50 mark. So it would have been a, made a really good entry. Um, so regardless, we're looking for more sells on NZDJPY. Uh, NZD USD is probably going to be the same thing as AUD USD, where we could have maybe one or two more uh, sell opportunities. Uh, but essentially, that's what we are looking for is more sell options um, on NZD USD. US 30 and NAS 100. Um, we're looking at potentially getting a peak, a brand new peak formation uh, here forming. Uh, we've already gone, this is pretty much for like 4.5 times ADR, so it's maxed out already. Um, so I'm looking for a new peak formation here to form. As long as we can get a new peak formation uh, to form here, we can look for cells. NAS 100 um, has already reached uh, a new peak formation, so I'm looking for cells on that one also. Um, gold. Gold, we had this, I had this wrong on gold at the beginning of the week. If you remember, I had, uh, I believe it was here, a peak formation high and then a reset and then we were just waiting. Um, and what I did was I got rid of everything and literally from here to here was just a peak formation high. And then this right here was nothing but retracements essentially. Um, so now with this new peak formation high, we should be looking for more cells. Uh, the first targets that I would probably have would be around the 1747 mark. Um, and then the next targets after that would be around the 1717 mark. Okay. Now real important on gold is we need to get past, uh, the 1760 mark. If we can get past the 1760 mark, then we should have no issues, uh, going down to 1747 and then, you know, 1717, um, as the targets for gold. USD Swiss, we're coming off a peak formation high, so we should be looking uh, for more buy options on this particular pair. All right. Now, one thing I will say about Swiss pairs and specifically uh, USD Swiss is if we get any kind of action that actually goes down like straight down like this. OK, we could be looking at a potential reset here, so I wouldn't be surprised or shocked if we get a reset here. Um, so just be aware of that. But for right now, until we get that kind of behavior from price action, we're still looking um, for buy options. OK, but just be aware that that is something that could happen here on this USD Swiss. USD CAD, we should be coming off of peak formation uh, low. So we should be looking for more buy options. We're already almost at um, at three times ADR. So we should maybe get maybe one or two more uh, buy options before hopefully maybe getting a peak formation, um, a peak formation high. Uh, the targets that I'm aiming towards are, are somewhere up here uh, with this retracement also matches with this uh, stop hunt that happened here earlier, uh, in August. So maybe one or two more options of buying for USD CAD. Uh, USD JPY. So here's a very interesting point, um, that I've been noticing is on USD JPY, you saw we had a peak formation high because of the big move. And then we had the news, of course, that made the price action drop. But since then, you could see we've basically retraced the entire move. So essentially, this is going to end up being either a failed reset or a reset. We don't know which one. Obviously, if it breaks the high, it's going to be a reset. And then we could basically uh, take it up to somewhere around here, around this area here. Um, if it ends up being a failed reset, then obviously we have a full cycle uh, that we can go to. Okay, so whichever one it does, we don't care which one it does. We just want it to do one so then we can go ahead and trade it from there. Okay, so this one I would actually avoid and just wait for it to figure out what it wants to do. So 
so pound JPY, a very similar story actually, because you could see it, it moved up and then came right back down um, and then moved back up again. Um, so this right here seems to be just honestly just moving sideways and it's stuck um, within this smaller structure here of 163,500 um, to about 160,500. So honestly, this particular pair, I would probably avoid unless you get a buy setup because buy setups obviously would help us break out of this structure and get us to a full cycle. Um, but you might be stuck in a sideways movement on this particular pair right now. So for me personally, this pair, I would probably avoid until it kind of figures out this consolidation part um, and gets to a full cycle first. Swiss uh, it's coming off a of peak formation low but you could see here we had a strong move down um, so we could possibly be looking at a reset forming we don't know that yet we'll see what today's uh, price action looks like in London um, but ultimately if you get a buy setup you can take the buy setups obviously because we're coming off a of peak formation low um, but you, you know we've talked about this before where some of these Swiss pairs have been resetting, 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 resetting. So I wouldn't be shocked or surprised if this actually does reset um, because it's basically like a break and retest of structure because here's the last point of structure here. Where did it go to? It literally went right back to structure. So on this particular pair, I would still look for buys, but just be aware of the fact that this is very likely going to end up probably end up being a reset and don't be surprised if it is if it is a reset by the way no worries we got plenty of room to sell okay so we got plenty of room to sell so don't worry about it if it's a sell because we're going to have plenty of opportunities coming up uh probably next week to sell this if it does become a reset okay uh aud uh pound aud and pound NZD going to be very similar to each other um, as we're coming off of peak formation uh, lows and we're pretty close, I believe, to uh, being close to three times the ADR on these uh, because these have moved quite a bit. As you can see, uh, we're averaging about 100 and give it take 145 pips or so. Um, and so far, we've moved about 400 pips. So we've already made some pretty good uh, movement for 400 pips. Uh, but if we're averaging, uh, what was that that we were averaging? If we're averaging about 145, that would put us right now at about 2.7 times ADR. So the targets themselves that we're aiming for um, are essentially gonna be this right here this would give us about three times adr so we're basically looking for maybe one or two more buy options on this particular pair okay uh and also on pound and zd same thing it looks very similar damn near identical to it um so we're basically looking for maybe one or two more uh buy options on this particular pair we're looking for this right here on pound and zd Okay, so still looking for buys, but it's getting towards the end of the cycle on both of these. Pound CAD, um, as you can see, we've basically just been moving sideways here uh, for some time. We should still be looking for sell options, but honestly, this thing has been moving sideways and you know me i don't i try to avoid this this kind of these kind of situations because it's almost like a 50 50 gamble i don't like this kind of behavior so i just kind of avoid it at all cost um, but if you had to trade this or if this is one of your pairs to trade again i would only be looking for sales because i want to cycle to complete um you know but it, this thing looks to be going just straight sideways um ever since the beginning of august so just keep that in mind okay uh but i would still be looking for uh for sales on this one to get, obviously to complete a cycle uh pound usd is going to be very similar to the, all the other usd pairs um where we're coming off the of peak formation high and then we should still be looking for uh obviously more sell options 
okay uh, some more sell options on pound cap we still got plenty of room for maybe three or four more trades on pound uh, USD euro Swiss uh, again coming off a peak formation low so we should be looking for more buy options however just with as with the other uh, Swiss pairs uh, as you can see, we've been resetting, 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 resetting. So um, I would not be shocked or surprised if this if this did the same thing, if it reset it, um, especially since we are right here at the 200. So this is going to be a critical point uh, for price action on this particular pair. If we can break above the 200 EMA on the one hour chart, we're good. But if we cannot break clear of this 200, this 200 is going to prevent us from moving any higher and it's probably going to end up being a reset. So keep that in mind when you're looking at these pairs. OK, so Euro Swiss, very important that we can break above the 200 EMA because if we can't, it's going to end up being a reset. All right. So just keep that in mind when you're looking for this. We want to look for buys, obviously, because we want this to go back up. Um, but very likely based on previous behavior is it's just been resetting and resetting and resetting and resetting. So until that behavior changes, we kind of just have to expect that behavior to continue on this pair. Uh, Euro pound. So Euro pound is coming off a of peak formation high. However, we had a very big aggressive move uh, back up to the 800. And so this could very well be a reset forming in play right now. Um, obviously, we don't know, but the the levels that I'm looking for on Euro pound to help determine whether reset is going to happen or not is 0 0.84600. So a break above that level, very likely then we would be going into a reset area. Um, if we can hold below that, then you should you should still be looking for more sell options on this particular pair. All right. But just be aware that a possible reset is possible here. On EuroCAD, we're coming off of peak formation high, so we should still be looking for uh, more sell options. Hopefully, with this big aggressive move here, was a pullback that we needed to basically counteract this move here. So this is a news event here, and then we basically just counteracted that news event now. So hopefully, we can start to look for more sell options now. Um, and hopefully complete a cycle. As you can see, we got plenty of room to get down the 2.8 times ADR on this particular pair. So as long as this holds here, as long as this 131 700 holds, uh, then we're good and we should still be looking for more cells. Euro USD obviously coming off a of peak formation uh, high, so we're still looking for more sells on this particular pair. We have plenty of room for more sell options on Euro USD, so continue to look for sells. Euro AUD, we're coming off of peak formation low. Uh, you can see we're getting pretty close to 3.2 times ADR, so we're looking at possibly maybe one or two three tops uh, but i would say maybe one or two more uh, buy options on this particular pair to give us a full cycle uh, so that's what i would be looking for uh, really good point of structure um, for us to break on this one is 1.47 uh, once we break that obviously we're pretty clear uh, to go to 3.2 times ADR on this particular pair. Euro NZD is going to be very similar. Uh, it looks almost identical to it, actually, um, as you can see. So we should have a couple of more trades um, available on this particular pair. So far on this, um, we've gone about 363 pips. Uh, so we're getting pretty close. Uh, to, to three times ADR. So three times ADR is probably going to be around here where there is previous structure. As you can see, a bunch of uh, peak formation highs and failed resets and all that stuff. So that is a really good point of structure uh, where we want to get to on this particular pair. And that would, again, it looks very similar to 
uh, Euro AUD. So I would expect both of these pairs to behave uh, very similar to each other. So one to three more trades of buys, but just realize that we're getting pretty close to the end of the cycle there. Uh, and then finally, Euro JPY. It's a very similar move where we had a peak formation, we came down, and then we retraced all that back up again. Hopefully now this, this price action will hold. 137,700 is the area you want to watch. But as long as this area holds 137,700, you should still be looking for more sell options. Okay, if for any reason price action breaks above that particular area, this is going to end up being a reset. Um, and then we should start to to look for more buys or possible uh, just move right up to this previous point of structure, which was a previous uh, peak formation high. And that would basically complete a full cycle. OK, so that particular area of one thirty seven uh when I say 137.700, it's going to be important for that to hold. Okay, so as long as that holds, just keep looking for sells on this particular pair. All right, guys, so that is your midweek update. Hope you enjoy. Remember to trade safe and trade consistently, guys. Guys, if you need more help uh, with our strategy or you want to join us in our next class, we are hosting our first master class. Uh, coming up on August 22nd. This class is probably going to be the best class out of all of them because of the material that's brand new that's being released in this class. All of the new material being released is years of back testing data that we've been collecting over the years that have helped us determine what are the best things about the strategy what are the best patterns, what goes into the best patterns, everything you could possibly think of is going to be in this masterclass. So hopefully, guys, I hope that we will see you in the next masterclass. It starts August 22nd. The link is in the description. And like always, guys, trade safe and trade consistently.